Hey everybody, Scott Steen with winnersandwiners.com coming to you from the Roy Munson studio deep in the bowels of the Winners and Winers Sports and Entertainment Complex which sits behind 12 foot tall barbed wire fences surrounded by a moat with crocodiles, a gun turret and a parapet where men stand ready with boiling oil to take care of any angry hordes with pitchforks that may or may not be storming the said complex. How are ya? Whee! We're having fun. Man, this is a huh, this has been a brutal, brutal week. Of course, it was uh, uh, brutal uh, for us uh, as we go, <laughs> go 0 and 3. And uh, just for good measure, thought I'd go 0 and 2 over on the premium side as well. So um, yeah, we uh, after uh, after losing the first four, um, if anyone thought there was a chance in hell that the world would not just get their asses kicked in the uh, in the Young Guns game, uh, yeah, no chance. That was locked solid. Uh, that's the way that was going to go. So, on we go, everybody. A um, couple things. I know. Um, um, I've, I've heard from. Uh, I've heard from a, a number of people, and uh, we've uh, we've made a couple changes. We uh, I sent my uh, I sent my team home for the weekend. I've got back to capping um, the way that I had before. You know, I don't. I, you know, and I said this over the premium side as well. I don't know that it's made a difference to me. Everything feels uh, there doesn't. There's no different feel to it. You know, you just you, you run cold. And but I want to make sure that I'm not missing something. I want to make sure that there's something in the process that isn't different that I'm not seeing. So I sent him home. I told him to have a nice weekend. And uh, yeah. And the other thing I did, I cut down today's uh, today's picks from five to three. A lot of people have talked about the number of games. Um, being played and are being in yeah there's I know there's people that are playing because uh, we're doing three and then three on the pr- premium side I know there's people playing six picks and yeah that's too many especially the one day it wouldn't be too many is maybe a Saturday when you've got a ton of games like that it's really like two days rolled into one but um, any normal day yeah I'm not uh, as, a, as a gambler I'm not paying any more than three picks now I do play <laughs> all six picks that I make but I play. Uh, I don't play them all for the same amount of money because I have, I have pledged, and I am completely uh, upfront and transparent about this. I do play every pick I make, which makes uh, which this makes this week uh, extra neat for me, um, as it you know certainly is for many of you. But um, anyway, so that's the that's the deal on that. So we're gonna go, we're gonna go three and three this weekend um, as far as the number of picks goes, not three and three record. Um, we're hope oh, anyway, um, but. I'm not even going to say it. I'm think I think three and zero every day, and I'm thinking it again today. Um, so you know, let's get to it. We'll, uh, as always, leave me your picks, uh, leave me your comments, even negative ones. I don't care. I address I address every comment as long as you're not as long as you're not a dick about it. Um, you know, personal personal insults and uh, other than you suck. Uh, you know, um, and then I, I did have somebody mention it said uh, <laughs> that we uh, that we gotten lazy. We're not working very hard. And that made everybody at uh, at Winners and Wonders chuckle because uh, uh, those guys. Uh, I'll just I'll just say that's not the problem. That's uh, the the hours spent doing it. That's that's not how we, we had a bad week. All right, there may be other issues, uh, maybe other things we can figure out, but uh, lack of time spent doing it, uh, that ain't it. So, on we go. Um, what else? Don't forget to check out the websites. Hey, yeah, check out the websites for sure. A lot of those guys have had good weeks. So uh, check out Winners and Winers. Check out Stat Salt uh, for all the daily dive stuff into every game in America every day. And uh, you know the drill. Sides, totals, propositions, halftime bets, all that good stuff. Check them out. And, of course, like and subscribe. If you love what we're doing and want to hear more, make sure you give us that thumbs up. Um, you know, it sounds a lot sillier when you're cold. You know, when you're on a hot streak, you go, yeah, like it's a when you're cold. You're like, hey, give us a like. So, all right, guys, here we go. Um, let's fire it up, shall we? Uh, I'm taking a look at uh, one that we I turned you on to uh, that we did that we did last Tuesday, and I think we're in another good spot here as Iowa State takes on K State. I'm looking at the over again, guys. Uh, they got this at 1:30, and uh, I think I think that number's still low. Uh, K State totals are trending up, but I don't think they've quite got there yet. The Cats have averaged uh, 69.6 points per game. In their seven games since the last time they played Iowa State, and they've dropped 72 and a half points per game in their last four. Uh, Cyclones have struggled a bit lately, dropping two of their last six. 
but they haven't struggled because of their offense. They've averaged 79.8 points per game in that four-game stretch, and the over has cashed three of those four times. I, uh, I like I like the Cats and I like Iowa State right here, guys. I think it's uh, I think this is going to be a, a knockdown drag out, and I think both of them have enough offense right now to take that total up and over the 130. All right, uh, another total that I'm playing is the uh, 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 University of Louisiana Monroe as they take on uh, no longer Louisiana Lafayette. They're now just uh, Louisiana, but they will forever be known to us as the uh, University of Louisiana Lafayette Regional Cajuns. Uh, looking at the total here of uh, 162, uh, you know what? These two teams have a lot in common. In, in conference play, both of them put up over 82 points per game while giving up over 80 and 88, respectively. That's per game in conference. Yikes. Uh, both allow their opponents to shoot 50% from the floor, and neither plays pays uh, plays good three-point defense. With Lafayette in particular, their main strategy seems to be jumping up and down and screaming, hey, look over there, uh, while the guy is getting ready to shoot. Uh, last time they played, it went 15 rounds and ended up in a 99-95 non-overtime win. So, uh, again, past performance is not always indicative of present situations. However, uh, I think both of these two teams have great offenses. Both of them refuse to play defense. I think that total goes up and over the 162. And lastly, we're going to the well again, guys. Um, you know what? When you're struggling, you go to what's familiar. You go to what's worked. I'm not trying to reinvent the wheel. We're going to play the Akron first half under. Uh, you guys remember all the stats from last time. Uh, the astute aardvark, uh, he remembered it the, uh, this earlier this week and got everybody on it, and we're doing it again. Uh, since we did it uh, the first time here uh, two games ago, uh, they have played two games. And they have uh, scored first half totals of 58 and 61. That brought the total through 11 conference games to 55.3 points per first half. Um, you know, I know that if you, uh, you look and you go, well, you know what? Uh, Ball State scores a, a ton of points. Will that make a difference? So uh, Ball State's fourth in the MAC in points scored. And I went back and looked at Akron's games against the three teams in front of them, uh, Buffalo, Central Michigan, and Toledo. They played those teams a total of four times. The first half points have averaged 55.8, just a half point higher than they did against um, the all 11. There was two of those games were on, on the road, and two of those games were at home. The highest total that they put up has been 66 in this one. So, uh, yeah, I think that uh, I think that total. Um, and actually, I I think I, I misspoke. I think I said 138. On the other video, I think it's actually 136, 136. So it's a, uh, yeah, that total should be somewhere in, down in the neighborhood. They're going to shave us for sure, probably down in the 63 range. I still feel good about that. Um, I think we get, to, I think we can hit it again right here, guys. So get yourself down on a couple of the old favorites and a newbie as uh, we get down on the Ball State Akron first half under uh, Louisiana Lafayette, Louisiana Monroe over 162. And your K State Wildcats and the Iowa State Iowa State Cyclones over 130. Let's get down on those three bets, guys. At the end of this game, and the end, at the end of these games, you can join me. Swear to God, we're going to do it as we head back to the window. All right, let's uh, let's do our shoutouts. They are uh, short and uh, well, the ones that hit are sweet. The rest of them, ugly, ugly city. Uh, Cody L. He hit the uh, Buffalo Toledo first half under. Uh, he's wearing his left, lefty Rosenthal tee, so that uh, said hopefully he gets his magic. Absolutely, I said anybody that uh, anybody that uh, makes a lefty Rosenthal reference is okay in my book, and he got that first half under to hit. Nicely done. Uh, Desert Gambler, Desert Gambler got down on St. Joe's and Harvard. Uh, Miguel got down on Canisius. Time traveler Steve, he took the Pennsylvania Quakers minus four in the first half, and the astute Ardvark, he had the Cornell under. And that, my friends, completes the list of shout-outs for the evening. You know what? A friend of mine that's a, that's a, a professional handicapper that's been doing this a long time, I was talking to him tonight about my streak, and he said, you know what, dude? <laughs> Nobody ever wants to try and get well on Friday night in basketball. And, <laughs> yeah, he was absolutely right. You know what? It's a humbling business. About time you start thinking you're smart, start thinking you know something. Uh, find out uh, the gambling gods go, Ch -ch 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 -ch. not so quick. So, uh 
it's all good. We're uh, we're still going. We're uh, we're taking care of business and we're ready to start it out today, guys. See you later. Good luck. Talk to you in the comment section. Have a great Saturday, and we'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye bye.